Hello everyone, welcome to this very special episode of the Patch Us In podcast, Scorpion King edition. Give me a scorpion noise, Hugh. <laughs> it's more like a snake. Yeah. Uh, it's got a bit, I, I don't know what No, that's a crab. No, crabs go... Oh, da, da, da. Ah, There's I a subtle, it. subtle oh. but yeah. distinct <laughs> difference. For an audio <laughs> podcast as well, me doing the hand gestures didn't really help either. Though. <laughs> yeah, he's, he's doing the, the wee snippy claws. <laughs> I, th- I think you conveyed it perfectly. I think people will get that. Yeah. But uh, So the reason this is a very special episode is because it's finally fucking over. Ah, yeah! It's finally done. We watched uh, the Scorpion King Book of Souls. Funny that this isn't a numbered entry. Yeah. It's not Scorpion King 5, it's Scorpion King Book of Souls. Yeah, it's like a reboot, I think. And also, zero books in this film. Well, there was a woman book. Yeah, she was like, she was well read. That's not how books work. <laughs> like, that's, like, it's literally not how book, what, books work. <laughs> like, <laughs> well, it's it's been a raid, but before we, before we can... Uh, look back on all of them let's just talk about this new one i don't think that hugh was very impressed were you hugh no uh i kind of thought whoa this is a good start mm. like the production values went up massively yes there was real fire in this one yes it wasn't cgi fire mm-hmm. that guy that played the guy that got kicked into the hole in 300 yeah he was in it you know the messenger from 300, uh, yeah. that guy um peter mensa Oh, did you look at your phone there, Hamish? No, uh, just there's, there's something. <laughs> something caught his eye. Yeah. He's probably the best actor in this. Yeah. 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 Oh yeah, yeah. He yeah. definitely. Yeah. Right. So I mean, that's I not a high bar, but <laughs> but uh, I don't know Nathan Jones though. <laughs> <laughs> oh mate, like <laughs> anyway. Sorry, sorry. Yeah, we're doing Cork, you mean? Cork. <laughs> Basically, <laughs> that's what I was like when I saw him. Uh, God, every one of these loves to start with a fucking monologue to explain like how the plot starts instead of just starting the plot. Like, yeah. oh, there's a sword, and then there's a book, and then there's like a- Anubis, and then there's like monologue, 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 and you're like, oh, good. I think they just know that they are not good enough storytellers to show us this, so they need to literally just tell us, like, oh, by the way, let, let me catch you up. Like, yeah. This is what's what this what you shit's going on. Yeah. I didn't think I'd miss the actor that played uh, Matthias, the Scorpion King, like from the third and fourth fourth one yeah he i thought he was quite good like considering like i think this movie's way too serious oh ma- yeah, way 100%. too serious like i was like oh this is this is boring and then like you know um when nathan jones came in with his cog character i was like all uh, right okay it's just bullshit man and it's- but his jokes fell flat too which made me really sad i'm like oh yeah he know. was a joke part of a serious film yeah like they, I- they went away from the xena hercules kind of thing and went towards like Adventure films, yeah, more drama, more yeah. like serious, and you're like, oh, do you know what? I, I thought they were trying to be like more like the Mummy series, but the problem was the Mummy had humor as and well. And Brendan Fraser and, and Rachel Weisz, mm. like those two, and a good script. <laughs> Just a lot of res in there, Hamish, wouldn't you say? I would, no, I wouldn't say that, but you would. You say Aye. that all the time. These well, days. I, no, I made that word up. Oh, was it you res? Did you? Aye. 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 a lot of res in that. Res my face. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> like, Captain uh, Resma. Do you know who didn't have any res? <laughs> who did not? The lead actor, Zach McGowan. Zach McGowan. Good, Why does he sound like old... a? He sounds like a, mu- a country music artist, doesn't he? Call him Hamish Eyes. Hamish Eyes. <laughs> <laughs> like they had, like they, like I was like watching the film and why am I getting so annoyed? Oh, that guy looks like Hamish kinda. Oh, is it, it's not because <laughs> it's because he's incredibly ripped as well. Like oh, no, oh, he also, also like uh, Hamish. Yeah, also like Hamish. Also <laughs> like me. Just well, just like me. How did I explain it? I was like, oh, that guy looks like Hamish. Hamish had long hair and went to the gym more. <laughs> and you were like, thanks, mate. You didn't you. even say if he had long hair, just if he had hair. <laughs> <laughs> and then you were like, oh, you look like a golem. And I was like, that makes sense. No, yeah, I said absolutely. golem. You kept calling him, oh, that's that golem. And I'm like, that's a Lord of the Rings character. Uh, He's a golem, mate. Potato, a stone potato. golem. A stone golem. Stone cold golem. Potato, potato. What did you think of the main actor, Zach McGowan? I thought he was all right. Like, but he didn't. See, Scorpion Kings are supposed to be. I don't know, this is such a strange thing. <laughs> my Scorpion King, I say my Scorpion King. And my think, Scorpion King thesis, <laughs> I propose. I don't know, like, they have a bit of, like, charm, but he yeah. was very much, like, I don't know, like. A bit of wind. Yeah, like, just boring. And yeah. it's not like, you know, the choreography and that, you could tell that they were doing all their own stunts and stuff for most mm. of the time. Yeah. Uh, it looked great for the part, but. Yeah, just plank of wood. Like, no expression, very much like, oh. It felt like he kept getting knocked out. <laughs> <laughs> you know what he yeah. did? Uh, and the other thing was, like, he has ripped, right? The guy's yeah. big. He's way, way more muscular than me. 
Oh yeah, and you're pretty muscle. Yeah, you, yeah, yeah, put I that bench down. Put like no, no, stop I, benching I, that two hundred pounds right now. I, I'm actually curling as I'm, as I'm saying, <laughs> but like he isn't imposing enough. Like mm. like obviously he's not the rock. The rock's yeah, massive. He's, he's, his frame isn't big. He's got a muscly body and a small, not a small guy, but like like an like an average size, an average guy size guy, but like not an impressively large man like the rock. Yeah, or the guy that played them, I can't remember the guy's name. In the three and four, and three and four, like yeah, he you was, could tell he was, he like was bigger six, when he's four? standing next to people and stuff like that. Yeah, like he he generally looked imposing. This guy didn't look that imposing. Yeah, Victor and Webster. Victor, that's him. My favourite Scorpion King. So Webby, far. Webby, aye, good old Webby. Webby. Do you think know, like every that's time? Your, hold on, that's your favourite Scorpion King so far. Aye, including the Rock. Including the Rock. Oh wow, yeah. <laughs> hot take. <laughs> <laughs> Mate, the Rock's like the Rock's now uh, like like uncool now. He has no riz. See, yeah, see since <laughs> see since the start of uh, you guys doing this, starting the, the Scorpion King cast, yeah, he's kind of went down. There's a lot oh, of backlash on the wrong yeah. now. It's quite, quite strange. Like You guys called it, you're like, this guy ain't hot. This uh, guy has no riz. And I'm like, well, that's a new word that you've started. I can't wait till this takes off. I want to size the show of that. That's why we're so popular in Portugal. Yeah. yeah. Like, riz is like, in. Riz probably, <laughs> riz probably means something totally different over there. <laughs> no, but like, this guy... I thought the actor was alright, and this is probably giving them too much credit, but see if they had made it clear that it was like a kind of old man Logan style, you know, like in Logan is kind of older, so he's a bit weaker and stuff like that. See if they had done that, and that's why he's like not cheery and, you know, and he gets beat up a bit more and stuff like that, then maybe they could have got away with that, but I I know for a fact that wasn't what they were going for. It was just a totally different direction that they didn't I don't know if they didn't intend it or they didn't even realise how far a departure was. Right, the start of the film is he's a mm-hmm. blacksmith in a village. Yeah. He doesn't acknowledge anything that happened in the previous four Scorpion Kings, which is a shame because it's a deep lore. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And do you know the fin- reason why he doesn't do it is because he wasn't in any of them. Yeah, the, he's like, oh no, I forgot all about all that yeah. stuff. Yeah, and, and do that old cliche where like the, the wee kid is asking him when he's going to make a sword and he's like, ah, I don't... I don't use swords anymore. I'm not a warrior anymore. Uh, and it's like, oh god, how many times have you heard that? That John Wick, I'm retired. Boom, shit. <laughs> Coming out soon, John Wick Four. <laughs> uh, the like the uh, Matthias goes hunting, and the kids like, and he's blacksmith, but making a wee metal scorpion for some reason. As you do, you know. Ah, like because obviously he was like, this guy is a scorpion king, even though he didn't know he was, or he was like, I think they did know, but yeah, they just you know secretly like, knew. Yeah. I don't know, like, the plot wasn't obvious enough to yeah, tell. Just, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> Sorry, had to burp there. I mean, I've I've seen that actor, Zach McGowan, in Black Sails, and I think a very long time ago on one of our early podcasts, I did tell he's about it, and I said it was good. Uh, and he plays, like, Charles Vane, a pirate, but he's, like, kind of bad guy. Mm. And I think he's more suited to antagonists than, like, protagonists or leading men. Yeah, he's got that kind of look. Ah, he like, looks kind of sinister sometimes, yeah. doesn't he? Uh, you would know. I know. Sinister, <laughs> sinister Hamish. <laughs> I think he looks like a lion. Yeah, he's not me. Got... <laughs> him, uh, kind of like, like, like a Jim Morrison high, high cheekbones. Yeah yeah, 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 like the the broad forehead kind of thing. Yeah. He wasn't very good at like emoting <clears throat> as an actor. Yeah, he, every time like like one of them would go on a monologue and it would cut to him for his reaction, he would just look like there was sand in his eyes, <laughs> like he, or like there was sun in his eyes, and he was mm. confused a little bit, like or like Harry from uh, Third Rock for the Sun. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. yeah it looked like him a little bit uh, all the time. What about his voice? What did you think of his voice here? It sounded ADR, you know, like like dubbed in later. Cause yeah, there was no feeling to his voice. It was kind of bland. Yeah, yeah, and like every time he was meant to be like shouting or making some kind of speech, it was kind of like, yes, I am the Scorpion King. The few times that he did shout as well, it didn't. It sounded like a different, not a different accent, but. It was like that was because that was the only time that you heard him properly. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It sounded like a different voice. Yeah, you know, uh, it was kind of weird. He, he he was basically. You remember Mad Max Fury Road, and Max was in it. But oh, Max is that his name? I don't even know if it is Max is the Tom Hardy character or the. Yeah, I'm sure it's Max. Be I, think it. I, I think it's the only Mad Max film I've ever seen. But like, I'm sure, I'm sure his name is Max. It's gotta be in it. <laughs> Fuck. Like, I know, I know. But like, he was kind of side, not sidelined, but he was put to the side as like a. Like, he's the protagonist, but here's some more interesting people yeah. around him. Yeah. That's what it kind of felt like, because the other character that I can't remember the name of, that's the thing with all of these films, by the way, I don't know the name of any characters. Are you talking about the women? Yeah. With, with Nubian him? Princess. Well, I mean, she was a Nub- queen. Uh, Nubaya? 
Dubai? Bai? No, it was like Nala or something, was it not? No, that's a warrior. Talia. 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 That was pretty fucking close. (laughs) She's a warrior from Dubai. She was way better. Pearl Pearl Fussy, her name is. (laughs) (laughs) You you tried that with a straight face there. (laughs) (laughs) I was surprised that he wasn't after any of that Pearl (laughs) Fussy. God, we'll uh, way too minute, well, just, <laughs> just the more 10 minutes in, boys. I'm sorry, that's, like, that's her real name. That's bad. Like. Oh, God damn. Um, she was way better. The ca- her character was w- way better. Like, And uh, I think her as an actor was an uh, actress. was kind of more scene stealing than yeah. uh, Zach McGowan. Yeah, they, they just made her her skirt way too short, though. It was like, <laughs> that was, there was no way that it was that short. We, like she must have put that on first now like you know what we can take more off of that make that shorter like, more, show more skin gratuitous it's, it's a desert like, we need to show more skin yeah show more the get, yeah. get more burnt you know because you don't cover up in the fucking desert under a beaten sun you know that's actually there was very little desert in this even though this was a film in South Africa this one so we know where it was filmed but right? there was hundreds of deer weren't there mate right, there was fucking deer in Egypt mate or as Hugh put it earlier on it's like is there deers in Egypt and I was like deer <laughs> Shut up, man. <laughs> <laughs> Single deal. Uh, aye, it's the same problems as all of these. The the, the setting is ambiguous. Mm-hmm. The costumes are generic, kind of sort of. Yeah. But the best, like the the thing that made this film kind of stand out compared to the other ones was it looked better. Yeah. It was shot better. Mm-hmm. Better kind of angles, more interesting shots. Uh, better, I think better fight scenes as well. The fight scenes were made a lot more serious. Yeah, a lot of shaky cam in them, mm. but they were a not lot as much less. as what, what was it, number three or something like that. That used shaky cam like just in every scene though. Yeah, like that was no a lot worse. Coming out of the water, Hamish. No, no. Well, there were there were kind of ninjas in it. Yeah, yeah. Tribal ninjas. We were thinking though, like it would have been cool if. Uh, Matthias used wee scorpions as like ninja death Shurikens. stars, you know, <gasps> and just like f- flying scorpions. Yeah, so yeah. Like, stinger first into people. That would have been cool. And it would have had like you know zoomed in on the scorpions and their, their claws and their tail. <laughs> right, like <laughs> have you have you played like a dragon yet? Yakuza like a dragon. Oh, come uh, on, I've you. seen you come uh, on. play it, and I've got it installed, but I've not started it you because should probably fucking play it. Though. I should probably play it. Yeah, you should eight soon. Uh, well, you, uh, we like should dragon probably get back to the scorpion king. No, no, but like I was, was going to say, like, there's a summon in that, and it's like a wee fucking crayfish. <laughs> and it, it, like that's how he should have done it. He should yeah. have summoned these fucking scorpions. Well, he did a couple of times, didn't he? No, yeah, because he came was, out and started playing with nipples. He was like, ah. But not only did he summon them at the end, but Nala, Tala, Tala, <laughs> Tala was also able to Aye, summon she, them. Some, well, he was dying. She yeah, easily. Like, not so, yet, warrior. So, yeah. like, I'm just going to summarize a wee bit. Like, so he gets captured at the beginning. Uh, they, kill, boy, they kill what? the kid that made the, the surprise scorpion he gets captured <laughs> surprise scorpion that's a surprise scorpion like he didn't know he was a scorpion king I also, think, I think hard, he did I think he did. a sweet irony blah, blah, blah. how hard would it be make a scorpion out of like, like uh, as a blacksmith yeah when you're a kid that's pretty yeah. he's skillful that kid had the best hearing in this film as well yeah, like, like uh, the, the, see the beginning yeah. when he was making the scorpion, and then there was like horses miles away, and like he turned around, like oh, there's horses over there. I think it was the bird from the crazy bird lady that uh, he heard. Oh, going, ah! How did it? Go. Uh, that's a, I've just I've just I've left that blank, and then I'm gonna superimpose that. That was exactly right out from the film. Mate. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> just right again. That's just that's out of the film. Right, if that if that's true, right? So. <laughs> Like he gets captured, and then Tala somehow just like walks in, kills one guy, and sneaks him out, and then like does some scorpion fucking yeah, like a voodoo dance. Uh, yeah. It was very strange. And Hamish kept saying, "Blood of the scorpion." I know. I I, I just thought they were going to bring that up again because we've seen him be resurrected by mm. like a sorceress before. Yeah, and it was all about the blood of the scorpion. Yeah. Sting, is, is it not sting of the stop scorpions? Yeah, stop. Sting of the scorpion. Venom. Well, I mean, like he gets, venom. He, he gets Cause, which is blood. It is venom is blood. <laughs> I hate these films. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. He was resurrected, didn't he? And then um, they go on like a, a journey to find the book of the dead. Yes. Beat the no, 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 no. The book, book, of, the, book of souls, mate. Book of souls. Sorry, oh, no, yeah. sorry, sorry. Book I'm, of the dead is from the mummy. Oh, sorry. And the last scorpion that's king they're very similar films you know what I mean uh, they go on some journey they meet some some crazy guys in the in the desert and that scene could have definitely the, the, just the been sand people yeah the sand people fucking Star Wars now eh? <clears throat> <laughs> 
They may be scarce now, but they come back with, <laughs> with greater numbers. <laughs> like you had to like uh, hunt them. You remember that bit? Yeah, the guys that like, that was it. See again, like that bit was shot well. It was like you know to survive, you have to you know because again, like he didn't kill them. He like you know he could have like, yeah, the scorpion king could have there, killed so. them, but he of didn't. course he's a scorpion kingdom. No, like maybe you seen them like maybe like punched open the door with an arrow. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, a lot of the feats that he's had in, over these films, it wasn't the same Scorpion King, was it? No, no. it was getting smaller. Smaller yeah. and weaker. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, he couldn't, you know, shoot an arrow and make someone fly, fly away. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, like, in fact, I mean, um, did he not shoot people with an arrow and they didn't fly away? I know, there was, there was no, like, flying through the air with an arrow not piercing you. Where's the consistency in these films? <laughs> Where's the talking, uh, the, the camel you can communicate with? Yeah, yeah. I know, I was hoping. Well, I, the, I know, there was no camel. There was no, there was not, there was no, not much light wildlife in this one. Do you know, they keep saying in these films, oh, he's the last Acadian, the last Acadian, the last Acadian. We've never ever fucking found out what an Acadian, like, actually, uh, why does that make him special? Like, they've never kind of, like, I don't think they've ever explained that He's stronger, like you know, uh, like Vin Diesel's The Last Furian and stuff like that. Yeah, see, um, I was just about to bring up like uh, Pacific yeah. Rim and not Pacific Rim, fuck uh, Rim? Pitch Black Pacific and Rim? Um, Pitch Black and um, Riddick. Yeah, like I was thinking, it was very sim- similar. I don't think they've ever explained that, but I'm pretty sure they briefly mentioned about mm. all of these people getting killed and stuff like that. Yeah, but yeah, I don't think it's ever gone into why he's so powerful. I mean, the lore is rock solid tight. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, like you could watch these movies back to back and you'd believe this was one massive journey. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. There was no uh, plot holes. There were same actors, you know. Yeah. See, when... Totally the same. When uh, Nala said that she was the daughter of... What was his name again? Oh, uh, Balthazar. Balthazar, yeah. Hmm. And we were like... Balthazar, who the fuck was that again? And we looked at him, and it was Michael Clark Duncan from like the first Scorpion King. Yeah, um, we were like, oh for fuck's sake! Yeah. But I was like, I was expecting Zach McGowan to turn around and be like, ah, oh, sorry, that was a rock. Like, I don't remember. <laughs> <laughs> that's the that's level of production I expect from these films. So they've actually linked them together. Then, so like, you you you're like, all right, if Balthazar was still alive and that that Scorpion no, King w- turned up, he'd have been like. Who the fuck are you? What, you you who, shrunk. Who's this tiny little man? <laughs> Did you get off the roids rock? I know. Right? <laughs> Open your eyes, man. <laughs> Open your why, eyes. Why are you so white? <laughs> why are you so out here in this desert? All right, like I think uh, uh, it was bad casting for this Scott King. But like, I, I wish Webby would have came back for this one. The the plot carries on with uh, they find the the book of the book of souls. Book of souls. Book of yeah. souls is a magical. Sexy lady. Turns out it's this, yeah, scantily clad woman. And, and she, re- like, the scene is a call back to the first film, where, like, the sorceress comes out the water. Oh, so it is. Uh, and then, like, she comes out the water, right? And, like, I think Zach McGowan's meant to follow her eyes with his eyes, but he's just, like, staring straight at her body the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> like, hey, man, play it cool. <laughs> yeah, and it's funny because obviously the, the previous, the big, big webby. Yeah. He, he's a horny bastard in, oh, the, I mean, right in, the, in the other ones yeah, yeah. he'd have jumped in <laughs> <laughs> two hands first mate <laughs> yeah but basically so she is the book of souls and then there's the golem ah uh, Nathan Jones the golem Nathan Jones the golem golem uh, oh. is protecting her yeah and he's scared of flames ah, right scared of fire. Yeah. see again like the effects on um, him were actually pretty good his suit be was pretty good though. the suit was pretty good but like he, there wasn't much to him. Yeah, he was one of them characters now for like eighties films. Hmm. He was the one that like looked cool, but then died like to make you feel sad for him. Yeah, when you did <laughs> well, no, like it just confused me when he died. Like, so, uh, like he's like, scared uh, of fire. He's like definitely scared of fire, even though he's made of rocks. I don't understand. That. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah, it didn't make any sense. If he was paper, hmm. But no, he wasn't. Oh, he was rock. You're right. Yeah, you're right. But he's rock. Uh, but if you came but out with piece. scissors, you'd be fucked. Yeah. Maybe it was just maybe it was actually just the actor and he knew it was a paper mache suit. Nathan Jones is a guy that fucking said no fire. <laughs> Nathan Jones is a guy that was in WWE. He was, and, and then, again, that's another thing. It was like all these movies at least have one WWF, WWE Yeah, some kind of connection to connection somewhere. to it, which is wild. He Nathan looked, Jones, like he was supposed to be <laughs> I had to go into his research <laughs> that it was a... Uh, he had a, he was supposed to do a WrestleMania match with Undertaker, and it was supposed to be, I think it was Big, Big Show, uh, a tag team, so it was. Albert un- as well, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, so Big Show and Albert versus Undertaker and Nathan Jones. 
but Nathan Jones was terrible. It's uh, a strange match to make yeah. in the first place. Anyway. And they're like, oh, yeah, we'll just have Taker fight the two of them. <laughs> and he had one spot where he says, like, if you're going to, you have to come out, Nathan. We already paid for it, so he came out, and he was supposed to do like a kick to I think show, and he ended up like clobbering him in the face and broke his nose. Fuck. Nah, so even the one little bit that he had, he fucked it. <laughs> I, I imagine Undertaker was like, I'm working with fucking Big Show. The Nathan Jones and I, Albert. I Albert was actually a, a, a good wrestler, but like the other two are just like the clumsiest guys in the world. I love how it's more believable that the Undertaker could beat both of them than it is that he could wrestle. Yeah, <laughs> like, that's wild, isn't it? <laughs> but yeah, like a whole WWE connection, which is so strange. Like, but they went through every single movie, which is wild. I also love the fact Nathan Jones didn't change his accent. No, so he was just Australian as fuck. Yeah. <laughs> Australian rock golem. Yeah, makes so sense. They kind of trick. Him, they put a wee wall of fire up that he could easily have jumped over. Yeah. Uh, and he's like terrified and they take the book of the souls. Book of souls, book yeah. of souls sorry, I'm gonna keep doing this. And they leave the leave with her. Uh, Amia what's her name? Amelia. But before she Amelia? Uh, I can't remember. Amaya. Like, how do you expect me to remember the names of You're too busy looking at our body going like that, man. I, Mate, if that, I could only could be water. That bikini was getting smaller and smaller. I know it's that smaller. see when they had scenes later on, she kept like having less and less clothes. I'm like, hold on, I don't she had at least a veil on. Come on, guys. <laughs> yeah, and like what did I say to you, Hamish? Like, what, what? That's not a bit sandy. Like, like, because like, she's Aye, completely yeah. open. Yeah. Like, no, sandy. Like, cause, mate, it's so sandy. Weird looking, because like, no clothes sit like that mm. naturally. So they obviously, it was obviously a stylistic thing. And then I was like, that's just uncomfortable as well. Yeah. And who's that for? Like, when she's in that wee cave with she- a golem. Like, I know, but like, you know, why? She knew the scorpion. But then, like, later on, she had, like, wee pyjama-looking things. It's like, surely she would be just cutting about in them. Aye, I know. Aye. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. I don't for know. the dads, mate. Something yeah. for the boys. For the, one for the boys. Aye, something for the boys. Uh, I can't, do you know what? I'm struggling to remember what happened after that, but how do we get from there to the mad fucking cave? Well, they get caught again. Yeah. Um, like, ah. Oh, yeah. Do they get caught again? They get, he, um, he gets shot with the wee... Starts thing? that yeah. make him uh, fall yeah, asleep. Yeah, uh, <laughs> as I said, he keeps getting knocked out. That Scorpion King sucks yeah. ass. <laughs> uh, that Scorpion King shit. Yeah. Well, no, that's a bit right. So they're all standing around this fucking sarcophagus thing. Yeah. And then like he turns around and like five feet behind us, thirty people. <laughs> <laughs> it's like it's like Scorpion King was it Scorpion King three when it was like the whole town outside the. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That's kind of another thing. That was four, wasn't was it? Was it four? Sorry, yeah. yeah. Like they all just put out the guy, the, the science places up, and everyone. I'm like, how the fuck did they sneak up on this? <laughs> on a scorpion king like surely you'd have a wee scout scorpion out there like yeah. just hope like watching it like yeah but you've even even see it in this film later on the same scorpion king I think he dodges at least two arrows and a throwing knife from behind him yeah right. so he, he can sense them but he can't sense hundreds of people in armour it wasn't cool then though was it like yeah. the lore mate the lore is, is or teeny, teeny darks it's not there <laughs> but yeah so they get teeny uh, tiny I mean that's pretty much that goes to the end doesn't it they yeah it was quite like see you know even with this movie it was quite fast paced which is so strange to say yeah it I, felt fast paced but also dragged out at the yes, same time yeah scenes were long it, uh, scenes were long and then suddenly it was like it was like a it was like sort of chip, chip choppy it goes back to that guy that played the Scorpion King he wasn't he charismatic enough to like hold a scene yeah because he always looked confused he looked like he was just in the background and he just started rolling and he just, yeah. <laughs> he just stood still, just feel like, it. also always got a bright light in his eyes. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, I've made that joke like four or five times. <laughs> <laughs> um, the ending, though, like the the deaths were a bit shit. So the crazy bird lady, whose name was something ridiculous as well, the other one with like the short hair, her name was Menifer. <laughs> <laughs> That's was like, it Menifer? It was Menifer, yeah. That's like if a lassie called Jennifer like, is, <laughs> is trying to, like, are you Jennifer? No, no, what's your name? M- Menifer. <laughs> Jack the Red the Witcher, and they were like, ah, oh, Yennefer's like, taken. Yennefer's um, taken. <laughs> it's like January. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, Crazy Bird Lady, like, she just Yang- got shot in the back with arrows. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That, that, that was it. Death, yeah. Right? And then, like you say, the golem just. He fell into the fire or something, yeah, didn't he? Yeah, he stabbed with the Anubis sword. Yeah, because yeah, he's trying to destroy it, aren't they? Like, protect her. He was yeah. to protect the... the, the uh, he's, he's like, what was it? I must not fail. I cannot fail. While he's failing. By yeah. falling into the fire. <laughs> <laughs> and I was thinking, like, he he's made of rock and the sword is made of fucking metal. And it's like a god sword. How is some little fire 
Yeah. If, that, if that's going to fix it all, mm-hmm. like, why do it at all? <laughs> like, yeah. why don't you just set everything on fire? Yeah. But then, even the, like, it, the main bad guy, it's literally just, he gets chains wrapped around him yeah. and pulled in. And what did I say when that chain went out? It was like go go gadget chains. Oh yeah, because <laughs> like they were, at one minute they were like three feet long, and the next minute they were like this <laughs> extendo chain. Uh, while he's like falling all the way back, he's still yeah. able to get it not only to him but around him, so that it wraps around his neck a few times, and so, then somehow has the the angle and the leverage. momentum to flip him over him and into the fire. So like, see before that, like when the, the scorpions were like tickling him back to life yeah. when he was on the pillow. <laughs> yeah, right. Like, have you seen the Hercules reboot? Another failed yes. Dwayne the Rock Johnson that sort of one. Oh yeah, yeah. That yeah. happened as well. I'm sure where he was in chains and he's like, "You're supposed to be Hercules." The strip. He's like, "I'm Hercules." And he pulls that apart. I'm sure he's chained up as well. At one moment near the end of the movie. When was that out again? That was like 20. I think it's 15 or 16. Because it gave him before, hell. before this anyway. Yeah, yeah that gets, was a terrible film. That was bad. Yeah. Like that was the start of the Rock's bad run. Which no, has no, not lasted until no. this very day. <laughs> <laughs> but that's, that's like uh, that skyscraper, Rampage, yeah. San Andreas. What's, what, skyscraper's one where he's only got one leg in it. Yeah. yeah. And then, what's the other ones he's done? Oh, there's a lot, mate. Black Adam and mm. Hobbs and Shaw. And, Hobbs and Shaw. Hobbs Shaw's all right. Let's get back into Hobbs and Shaw. <laughs> 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 uh, I don't think we've done a great job of summarising this film. But no, no, I think see near the end as well, like the kind of, um, it was kind of fell flat as well. It was mm. like, just just put the sword in me and then butterflies. Yeah, I think kind of. They didn't want to have him stab her to death. Yeah. And well, he's like, I'm not doing it because it's honourable. And Oh, that's Nathan Jones, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm not doing it because it's not honourable. Because again, he's just uh, been, he's very much it. an honour, honour driven character. See that when he stabbed that other woman in the back? No, she deserved it though. Ah, uh, she killed that Wayne. Yeah. She deserved no honour. Well, you, you, you slit a uh, child's throat in front of everybody, in front of the whole town, where well, he made him a cool scorpion badge. Because he's like he's Sheriff Scorpion. Oh, Sheriff, Sheriff, Sheriff Scorpion. Sheriff Scorpion, <laughs> <laughs> Scorpion Sheriff. I'll be the next that. Um, but yeah, it was very much like a kind of how do you. You've, I thought they kind of wrote themselves into a corner there. They were like, how do we. Like, you know, we can't have him kill a woman <laughs> over a woman. <laughs> can't have him do that and still be a good guy. Like, but then it could have been like this is the this is the reasons why he didn't want to be the Scorpion King because it's like you know as a ruler you have to make those tough decisions that if you don't do this then someone else can take the Anubis blade and do this all over again. Yeah. So to stop this from happening, maybe you have to do it. And she was like, "It's okay, I understand." But no, they had to basically fucking Disney it. And she going, said oh, earlier on that she'd lived for centuries anyway. So she was she's, bored. She's she was dealing, dealing with fucking Rockman for most of the time. Yeah. Right. God, God, gloom. And she got to see his world, did she put it, you know, like, thank yeah. me for, thank you for showing me your world. Do you know why she was like, ah, fucking kill me, this world sucks ass. <laughs> <laughs> Do you even have TV? <laughs> no broadband? All up, all up around me and in me, like, it's just sad. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's in my <laughs> It's such a, like, it's such a weirdly flat. Oh, it's in my tussie and everything. <laughs> 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 yeah, it was a pretty anticlimactic flat ending mm. to a otherwise shitty film. <laughs> <laughs> that is a great boss. The boss is right there. <laughs> I don't understand why they didn't just go ridiculous. And I also don't yeah. understand why people still call him the Scorpion King. Yeah, couldn't this literally never been like like? Right, let's go through. That's right. In the first one, he gets a kingdom at the end. Hmm. Second one is a prequel to that, and I can't remember what happens after this shit. shit it doesn't get the lady. Doesn't get the lady. Doesn't get the lady in any of these fucking films. Well, no, no, no. Does. Wait a minute. It's another third one. He gets like, another kingdom when he beats Batista and. Uh, no, he saved the kingdom for somebody, uh, and then the fourth he one in, uh, he gets a girl. Oh, mate, like yeah, because Lord. basically he said like in the the third one or whatever it was like. No, you can't take this place. It was when he was telling Ron Perlman that no, you can't take this place oh, because yeah. I'm going to be the leader of it now, basically. 
But then I don't even think they ever mentioned what happened to that. It's just next film. Ah, I don't have it anymore. <laughs> what was that I said to you? I was like, why is it always like, like he's just like, saves the, the world, fucking becomes king, and then one day he's just like, I'm sick of this. He just bounces. Just moves on. Gets to another village. Goes gets out the, to get some milk. <laughs> then <laughs> never comes back. <laughs> gets the village, the new village is then slaughtered and then starts a new adventure. Like, yeah. every fucking film. Yeah. But then, so bizarre. In, in this film, when he's talking to Nala, I know her name's Tala, but I'm just going to keep calling her Nala. Um, like the Lion King. Saying, like, you know, we're going on a quest. And I was like, ah, don't quest. And it's like, you fucking love questing, mate. That's all you do. <laughs> <laughs> don't talk this shit. was a Witcher game, you'd just be doing all the same quests. <laughs> the guy just, like, gets bored and he's just like, by the way, I'm Scott Wayne King. And then, like, like gets his village murdered and then he's like, oh, cool. <laughs> Time to move on. Yeah, like, <laughs> fucking hell. It's like the littlest hobo. <laughs> <laughs> like, so does, this, this film doesn't lead into Mummy 2 either no nothing leads into the mummy at all like I think that's what the the, the whole again I'm assuming we've all that's kind of the movie it's been that's it for yeah, yeah like it's we hope yeah I don't think they'll be making it anymore I mean I know um, The Rock's been talking about rebooting it again it's like well there's no much point now that you've had four movies after the the case unless it's going to be like the Scorpion King in modern times and you'll be like oh this is going to be awful I th- well I think he's just coming back to produce anyway isn't he but yeah. I think it would probably be either a continuation of his film or a reboot like completely I don't know what is yeah, it going to be the, but the Halloween it probably where they just ignore uh, most of the film I mean, if you could I, I, I wish I could <laughs> <laughs> if you could would do you know who you would have as a a Scorpion King who would be great as a Scorpion King in yeah. your head like currently like or in the past or like you know potentially right now that you could like, do you know that actor would be really good as a Scorpion King I wish you'd asked me this earlier yeah this is the kind of question you need to give us time to uh, <coughs> prepare for do you know like again because yeah. he's like cousins because they're cousins I think Roman big Roman Reigns from the Fed keeps that WWE connection in he'd be a pretty good yeah, that's not. That's he not he, a bad he would be actually. a good one. I don't know about his acting skills because I remember him Hobbs and Shaw. He was in it for a wee bit, but then wrestling's kind of like acting anyway. So it's like needs to be a bit. And also, yeah. I mean, he's probably on par with the rest of the actors that have played right. the Scorpion King. So yeah, not Webby, mate. <laughs> <laughs> and, then, and then he could just Superman punch everybody, just punch them in the yeah. face. <laughs> yeah, fucking hell, man. Why did we spend so much of our life doing this? See, like, uh, Manu, yeah. Manu Bennett, maybe? He'd, you know. Like an older Scotland King. Uh, hmm. well, he's not that old. He's older than. He's like 40 or something, like maybe? No, I, don't, I don't know. Is he not older than the rock? Manu Bennett? No, I don't, I don't know. Maybe he is. Man, get a Django fit. Aye, um, Manu Bennett was like a uh, Deathstroke and Arrow and stuff like that. Ah, oh, right, cool. Ah. Ar- that's a TV show that's on par. But it was just like just, it was. That's a it TV started, show. <laughs> it started off like with good intentions, but just <laughs> nose dived. <laughs> Arrow. Aye. Oh yeah, the first th- like three seasons were pretty good. Yeah, yeah I remember really like the first couple of seasons. I'm like, oh, this is pretty good, and then it just fucking nose dived. Yeah, Scorpion yeah, I King. Can keep up with it. Well, it's the CW. They're always kind of hit and miss with their stuff. Um, nope. Like the Flash was great, and then that kind of nose dived as well. It's like yeah. the Flash has never been good, mate. Like ever. And it's his, I hate the Flash. I don't know why everyone loves the. Fl- I don't hate the Flash. I just don't. Hugh, I, Hugh I don't just like he sees a lot of them that he finishes enough. really fast. That's why he doesn't. Like the flash. <laughs> I don't like cunts that run fast. It makes me feel bad. <laughs> so we've we've been uh, rating all of these as we go. So Dom, what would what, what rating would you give Scorpion King? So five, Book of Souls. Wait, I think the last time I kind of gave it like five. Yeah. For like the for the fourth one, and I think that's as bad as that. So I think that's the best one that is out of all of them. And this one, I think, was maybe a three. Like visually, it was gorgeous. It was shot well. Like, but saying gorgeous compared, like, as compared to all the other movies, yeah, yeah. I'm not using this as like, oh my god, it's breathtaking. Um, it, it just it it dragged. Um, the fight scenes were better than most of the movies, but there was no humor. It no. was hollow. It was bland. There was not a really a great redeeming quality to it. If they had Scorpion Shurikens, yeah, that would be that <laughs> ten out of ten, hundred yeah. percent. Um, but yeah, it's yeah, it's. I'd think it's. Do you know? I would still rate it over the first one as well. Like again, the Rock one was still it was just it's cheesy and. If the Rock wasn't in the first one, yeah, would you say it was worse? If the Rock wasn't in the first, I would say. That is bye. I'd say it was worse. The Rock kind of kept it together with his charm. Because like, again, he would actually act and have fun. Like he's your top five. Top five. Top five. I like. I would say. Down for this. Okay, okay. I would say. 
Four. This is, this is number one. Four. Best, number that is the best one. Still Hamish is hosting you today. I know. Yeah, I'd say four. Three. I don't mean countdown. <laughs> four three. I'm like, what are we getting ready for? Here? <laughs> four three. I go five. You're like, wait, what? <laughs> four three. Uh, oh, two was pretty bad though. Yeah, two, two was two, pretty two bad. God, that's awful. a difficult so I'm thinking, question. Yeah, so, so I'm bad. thinking probably five one two. Yeah. So, so your favourite one was this one? No, it was four. It was four? Sorry, four, four three, four three, four three, five one two, one two. All right, okay, I, mm, very, <laughs> very close, very close. Right, so my favourite one is the first one. Right, yeah. okay. So my favourite one's the first one. That's because you got that Brahma bull tattoo on your arm. That's why. I know I've got a wee scorpion as well. Just because the rock Michael Clark Duncan's in it, and it's it's got that early two thousands cheese. Yeah. It's got a good soundtrack though. <laughs> the Godsmack and Nickelback and stuff. Like that. That's a that's a film of its like era, right? So mm-hmm. I've got the first one, mm-hmm. fourth one, mm-hmm. third one. Mm-hmm. Oh. oh, yeah. Fifth one and then second one. Second yeah, one's yeah. The second one's by far the worst. Yeah, second one. Had- Mine is almost the same as yours, but I would actually put four above one. Yeah, I, okay, I, yeah. four. Is, four is my favourite one. They had finally found their feet, found their um, goofiness style. Yeah, fi- found their shit. I'm trying to think of what scorpions don't have feet, but <laughs> <laughs> they yeah. found they knew what they were doing. <laughs> ah, there you go. They knew what they were doing with like they they leaned perfectly into the wacky B movie not B movie but you know silly, silly humour yeah. and then they've just they've fucked it with this one but I think 4 was peak Scorpion and then the 1 was good as well but 4 was just like 1 was still trying to be something that it didn't quite get to be yeah, yeah. it was kind of living in the shadows in the mummy movies as well like again yeah, I, yeah. well that must have made like half a billion in cinemas and stuff like that and DVD sales yeah that was like a fucking phenomenal yeah. Yeah, the, first, phenomenal. the first two were like massive I remember the, like the first two mummy films being everywhere for a while yeah and it made Brendan Fraser this mad fucking superstar for a bit I mean they just kind of died out mm. but The Rock because The Rock was so popular in wrestling yeah that man they made their own show for him it still goes to this day Smackdown? Yeah. Oh, I, was, I was wondering what you meant there. Young no, Rock? Not Young Rock. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't watched I that. mean, they technically did make that for him and it's still going, so that, yeah. you know, that, that could count as an sure. answer. Right, so... Yeah, so I'd, I'd go four, one, three, because Billy Zane was quite entertaining. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Two, and then five, because this was just the worst of the bunch. Oh, definitely. you think it's worse than two? Oh, yeah, easily. Oh, wow. Oh, man. I thought two I, was... Back I'll take what, See Through time. Scorpions over... Whatever the fuck this was. <laughs> Any day. To be fair, watching Randy Couture try and act was one of my favourite things as well. Yeah. Remember the backflip bit? <laughs> like, he, was so, he was so, like, greased up, though. Greased, yeah, greased up Couture. Up, and he just kept smiling, like, throughout the whole film. He was just, like, weird, creepy Randy Couture. Just happy to be there, mate. He was just like, I've, I'm finally going to make it with this. <laughs> Cauliflower <laughs> ears. And <laughs> but what about, like, standout favourite moment or moments? Like, if in a year's time if we look back at this and go oh I remember we did Scorpion King podcast why what are you gonna <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah what are you gonna remember like what's gonna be the first thing you remember of the films do you think like your best bit I think Billy Zane's up there like he was entertaining yeah Billy Zane and then also the ninja fight yeah but I like I kind of get over that slow motion shot of the ninja coming out of the piss river yeah because he's pissing in <laughs> the river and he just comes right out of the water yeah. and like kicks him in the head and I'm like Nin- ninjas? <laughs> like, like, what film is this? Um, I think probably I'll, I'll just remember the, sh- the stupidness of uh, number four with them trying to pretend to be girls trying to get into that. That, was, that, that was, was a good was, scene. Was, the, the, <laughs> the dragon bit was also like <laughs> that was so bad. What yeah. we should do is build a catapult and catapult into the dragon. <laughs> <laughs> but we'll fail first just for the lols. The dra- oh, where did we get the dragon? Uh, Skyrim. But on a 360. <laughs> Hell yeah. How about you, Hamish? Aye, I mean, definitely that scene. And like I say, Billy Zane was was funny. Uh, but the fourth one overall, even, I can't remember, um, Barry Boswick, he was... Yeah, good, he was good. pretty good. Uh, yeah. He was, like... And uh, obviously, 
Like girls' abs. <laughs> <laughs> that girls' sweet God abs. Damn, man. <laughs> Some real abs there. Okay, Do you want to know where, <laughs> like, where this is ranked compared to the other ones? Yeah, yeah, please. Yeah, go through the IMDb. So, then, so, so one was 5.5, 5, right? Yeah. Then two went down to 3.8. Okay. Three went down a wee bit, 3.7. Really? Four went back up to 4.1. There, there we are. Where do you think this one lands? Uh, let's say about 3.5, as it's quite below average. Four. Well, that's way below average, sorry. 4.5. 4.6? We oh, oh, wow. actually say this is the second best one after the Scorpion King, the first one. Visually. Which is fucking ridiculous. Visually, it's probably <laughs> the best one of them all. Yeah. Well, yeah, I mean, Ex- that's time has went on, you know what I mean? Except like, there's like two scenes. And there's one where it's like they've tried to like look onto a desert, mm. and it's fucking awful. like right at the start. Yeah, it's like a screensaver. <laughs> yeah, see when he first picked up the sword of Anubis. Yes. Yeah, it looked quite good. So you could see the kind of the the light pulsing under his skin and stuff like that, and his eyes going. And it was like, oh, this uh, looks pretty good. And then there was that scene over the desert, and it was, uh, it was bad. The, ar- the archery was pretty bad as well. Yeah, like, yeah. the archery was pretty terrible. Hmm. Uh, but the. <laughs> Uh, well, we're really, we're really like picking at things here. Like, oh no, that was that wee one wee bit was pretty good. That wee, like, <laughs> yeah, that I scene. actually want to go watch the Mummy one and two now to like kind of cleanse the watch palette a good film yeah. for a change. <laughs> and Brendan Fraser, I would have liked to see how the Scorpion King turns bad. Yeah, they you never know, really uh, even like lean towards that. Hence, that's why I was a bit like disappointed they didn't even, <clears throat> you know use that near the end to yeah. be like this could have been the turning point like this is the moment there he had to make that choice and he's more like an anti-hero he had to do what was right for the world rather than oh he's just a murderer yeah you know what I mean and they, they could have leaned into that but they still want to do this anti-hero Black Adam goddamn rock uh, I'm the good guy kind of I just take things into my own hands yeah People I, I, did, elbow. I did mention that to Hugh like when he picked up the sword that was like oh maybe this is what turns him bad you know because yeah. like, obviously it kind of infects you and that but but then again he never had the sword did he no, no he did he, well he, he had a sword he stabbed her with well no I mean I mean like when he was like no 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 scorpion no, scorpion king oh was see that would have been good ate the scorpions in the first was it the first one or in the oh yeah two? no was it not a spear was, the, was it a spear or a nibus was it a spear of like remember like Brendan Fraser had the tattoo or something like, okay. and, yeah, like it was yeah. like that was it and he was like Oh, it's fate. God damn it. <laughs> well, he, he did eat scorpions. Did they not find them at the, the wee oasis bit? When he prayed to Anubis or something like that to spare him. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah, then he does that. Oasis so and that God, was his like, sustenance. So he, just, <laughs> he ate the blood of the scorpion. Fucking <laughs> 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 and, and then he had the venom of the scorpion roll inside his blood, making it bl- bloody. <laughs> the link to scorpions is so tenuous, yeah, right? Uh-huh. There's like no real. It's not like he wears like Scorpion branded merch or yeah. like or he's got his sweatbands on. That's because the wee kid didn't get to finish it, mate. Like, yeah. That was going to be you know like the the flat caps that you get with a wee yeah. Nike tick on it. Yeah, have a wee Scorpion on it. <laughs> Do you know he had like the the plushy arms as well? Like, it was just like crab <laughs> arms. <laughs> <or so>. <laughs> like <laughs> Scorpion King. <laughs> oh god, man! <laughs> like this film was generic adventure film. Most of these films were. Yeah, but. No, I don't. I can't even. I can't even defend any of them. To be honest, like because we we're trying here, like oh, we rate them. This is number one Scorpion King film, but they're all that's still trash. bad. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I you, probably never watch any of these again. If it gets rebooted, would you watch it? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be there day one, boys. Day one. Cinema we'll ticket, to, mate. We'll have to dress up as scorpions. We've yeah. committed now. You know what I mean? Like, we trans <laughs> dress up as scorpions. What? <laughs> <laughs> oh, one of us will be the tail. I'll be the tail. <laughs> 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 Oh my god! Yeah, we'd have to we'd have to go at the cinema straight away. Sorry, but I can see a lot of like big lines in the corner. <laughs> Just laughing though. Uh, aye, I'd be there day one, man. Fuck yeah, it, yeah. I would. I'd go see it. We can't part be of, any worse. We're part of this now. <laughs> oh, no. We're in the scorpion. We've King got the panel. blood of the scorpion, mate. Come <laughs> on! <laughs> Every time you say that, you just like hand on the face, just eyes oh, a bit more, oh, face mate. palm. No, I, like. Like professional writers wrote these films, like guys that get paid. Mm. People can't see your wee air bunnies when you say professional writers. I know, I know. <laughs> and then the, these guys are like, these guys are actors, right? And I get that acting is like any job that there's like levels to this shit. Yeah. These guys are TV actors, a lot of them, I think. Yeah. Uh, but they're all, they're all, they're given very fucking little to work with. Yeah. Like I yeah. don't like the guy in this film was given no character. Mm. You're, you're just meant to know the Scorpion King's a hero. 
they never really fleshed out and out. I don't know who watches these films. Like in in the day, like I think we spoke about this earlier. Yeah. In the days of like blockbuster and global video and the sh- fucking video shops, you could go in and go, I know what the Scorpion King is. Yeah. Or even just like that box art looks pretty cool. That's Randy right, too. Yeah. <laughs> I know him. But I mean, not only that, like obviously you would rent something and then you're like, fuck, well, I've got it now, so I might as well watch it, even if it's pish. Yeah. But nowadays, not only do you have a much larger library of choice, you have also can just jump on and read reviews and you can get influences from everyone says this is fucking shit. Yeah. You know, so If you've got Netflix, Disney+, Plus, Amazon Prime, or you're like me and you pirate all their stuff. Even if you've got one of them. Yeah. You've got a multitude more options than the fucking Scorpion King. <laughs> yeah, like, we we paid for this. Well, I paid for it. But it was just like, I never paid for that shit. <laughs> Fuck that. Like, I, we, I couldn't be bothered trying to download it, Dom, so I just bought it off Jeff Bezos' hell platform. Again? Uh, yeah, but I only rented it. So you're, su- you're supporting this. You're supporting this nonsense. So if they make another one that's terrible, it's on you. <laughs> <No>. Good. <laughs> it's like us when we look at our podcast stats and like you know we're like oh we we'll get some people in Portugal. That's weird. They're going to be like, oh, there's, there's a guy in Scotland that loves these films. <laughs> <laughs> He's renting every one out. <laughs> God damn. Are we going to explain why there was no podcast last week? Yeah, we were all busy. There you go. Yeah, there you go. That was it. We were busy. <laughs> well, we got lives, motherfuckers. We got shit to do, mate. It's Dom's fault. Yeah, well. Dom's fault. Dom's fault. Dom's fault. Okay. Dom's fault. When Hamish leaves, it's Hamish's fault. Yeah. But it's, Matt, it's, never, it's never your fault. It was actually, I think, my fault because I booked something for Thursday. Because we usually record on a Thursday. Yeah, yeah, yeah but, is it, but I think it's not, it's not my fault if Man United are in, like, competition. Yeah, but it's your fault that you like them. That's true. You're right. You're right there, Hamish. It's not usually you're right. But anyway, uh, I'm, I'm very proud of us for getting through all of this. Yeah, I can't believe it. It's, it's over already. I kind of want to start it all over again. No, don't. <laughs> do you know what we should do? We should ask everybody what type of series we should do next. I think I may yeah. put it as how we vote. We've got we've discussed a few um, potentials, or I've suggested one that I think would be great, but it will be long. Yeah, that's only issue because there's so many. Well, let's. Oh um, but well, we won't. We won't say any because we don't want to no. uh, influence the listeners. But mm-hmm. we'll put up some wee polls and stuff like that. Yeah. yeah. Get some ideas, and then we can veto. We'll all, we'll each have a veto mm. in case someone says something that there's like twenty five movies of. <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> yeah, fuck that. <laughs> Friday series or the Nightmare on Elm Street stuff like that. Like, nah, I just turn that. And I guarantee you, someone's going to say the Scorpion King movies. <laughs> <laughs> you. Oh, Again. God, man. <laughs> Look at them with that, that fresh set of eyes, you know, and a better understanding of Matthias. <laughs> <laughs> Looking it. back, these movies were classics. <laughs> I actually know less about the Scorpion King now than I did. Yeah, it just gets more confusing as yeah. you go on, doesn't it? Yeah, it's just too much. We'll, say, we'll, 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 we'll try and watch something good next time. Uh, That's no fun. I know. <laughs> Don't I waste my life, though. I mean, you're already doing that right now. <laughs> <laughs> I've got games to play, man. Mm. Because that's not wasting your life. No, Vampire Survivors is very good. Mm-hmm. <laughs> we'll talk about that on the normal pod. Which, uh, we have fucking boys deep into that game. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> like, Dom, are you playing that? I'm not playing it now. You'll fucking get playing it before the next one. I'll try to. I've you got other things that you like to play. Y'all heard it. <laughs> y'all heard it. Anyway, before we go off, I, I actually, as a wee surprise, oh, got you something, damn. got you a wee gift. Don't um, fart. If you fart right now, I swear No, no, no. <laughs> It's uh, Scorpion King related. It's just it's just a voucher for like a local tattoo studio, but it's only redeemable for a scorpion tattoo on your face. Ah, <laughs> just uh, oh, like the Mike Tyson kind of tattoo, yeah, uh-huh, like the tribal, yeah, but like by a scorpion. Yeah. yeah, I want the one for Scorpion King too. What one is it? The invisible one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <right. laughs> uh, I, I, uh, I'll get you uh, glow in the dark ink. Right? <laughs> That's fine. <laughs> They'll turn <laughs> turn off the light. <laughs> to go to bed. She can't get to sleep anymore. <laughs> just a scorpion in her face. <laughs> <laughs> she didn't have the blood of the scorpion. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, I hate you. <laughs> Pillow on the face. You need a podcast house. I can't afford this. <laughs> God, that'd be carnage. Well, I think that's I think that's the end of a thrilling saga. Yeah, of Scorpion King podcast. Yeah. So, are you are you sad to see it go here? No. <laughs> <laughs> like, wait, like honestly, like, see, like building up to this podcast, and I was yeah. like, I've got to watch another one. Yeah. Mm. 
another one. <laughs> another <laughs> it's like one. DJ Khaled. So, but like, I'm now happy that the next time we do it, it may be something that I enjoy watching. Yeah, because it's universal in seven buck promotions that are doing the reboot. So it'll be at least got a budget to it, a bigger budget. It'll be Fast and the Furious, Scorpion yeah. King style. <laughs> Without Vin Diesel. No, no, just uh, there'll be uh, like a bald guy that he hates. Yeah. And it, like, it kind of. Ben Feasel. Nev Petrol. <laughs> no, no. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, like, like, <laughs> no, no. Everyone needs to know that you're shit. <laughs> uh, you're going to miss it, Dom? A little bit. I think, like, you know, it's nice to watch movies that we've all seen separately. We've not watched them all together. Because, again, I think if we would try to watch it together, we would just talk over each other and just be an absolute fucking disaster. But to come in with, like, notes... Like this podcast. Like this podcast. <laughs> <laughs> but to come in with notes and, like, you know, actual critiques yeah. to something that we've all seen. Because we've, we've been talking well, about we doing... it hard. Because yeah. <laughs> we've, we've talked about this for a while, of, like, trying to do something and break it down and, you know, have, like, a opinion rather than going, I it was good or yeah. it was genuinely, genuinely okay yeah. or it was <laughs> a lot of fun a lot of fun yeah and we've kind of stayed away straight away, stayed away from all of that and it actually sat better. down and went okay have we enjoyed this what was the experience you know how many scorpions do you think I can, you can get down a guy's top before he realises he's covering the scorpions <laughs> oh like that God. moment is just again that was another moment I remember just like yeah. ah scorpions yeah. surprise <laughs> <laughs> it's a surprise, yeah, scorpions. scorpions. <laughs> um, but yeah, like I, I won't miss the movies, but I'll miss the conversations. Yeah, uh, that's that's very well put. Yeah, it has been fun. You know, again, yeah, not watching them, but this has been fun. The podcast yeah. has been fun, and I hope that everyone who has been listening along has enjoyed them. Yeah, uh, but let us know what you would like us to delve into. Next time, try not to be too mean to us. <laughs> we do need to spend hours of our lives watching this shit. <laughs> um, so yeah, be gentle. But I think that's everything, so that's a goodbye from Hugh. Goodbye, everybody. A goodbye from Dom. Scorpion blood. <laughs> Scorpion venom. And a goodbye from me, Hamish. Bye, everyone. What do you think venom tastes like? The scorpion venom. Uh, like blood probably. I've eaten a scorpion before, but didn't have any venom in it. There's no limit to what you'd put in your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> That's how we end that. <laughs>